Oh, I'm Sarah Donchi. It is one thing to see what is happening on the streets of the Tenderloin, drug dealing, violence, even killing. It is another thing not to be able to look away from it. That is true for the people who live there, of course. And one longtime Tenderloin resident thought maybe that is exactly what other people and city leaders need to be able to experience to really understand what is happening there. So he decided to break out cameras and record everything. Our Kelsey Thorat is here with us tonight. So you talked with this man who is basically recording life in the Tenderloin. Yeah, that's right. So his name is John. He's lived in the Tenderloin actually for decades now, but he says things have gotten so bad that he actually fears for his safety. That is why he is now posting videos of all the crime taking place on his doorstep online to try and show people the realities he is living in and hopefully get some help. Now he is so nervous still that he could be targeted by some some of these criminals that while he agreed to speak with us, he asked us not to show his face and also to distort his voice. So and then there it goes. First shot went off and then he fired back. They all took, took off running. John has lived in the Tenderloin for more than 30 years and says he's never seen things as bad as they are right now. This is just normal. We see this stuff all the time. I, I've become so accustomed to it. I don't even think about the fact that it's not right sometimes. It's crazy. Just this weekend, John caught a shooting on one of the many security cameras he has set up outside his home. In it, you can see a man shooting a gun multiple times in the middle of an intersection as people and cars go by. There was an initial shot fired from the other direction, and then he just went off and just started firing back like Wild Wild West. It, it was just madness. John says he and neighbors call police constantly to report the violence and drug dealing that plagues their block day and night. He says the police do come to investigate, but the dealers just hide out until they're gone. They're smart. The dealers are smart. The, the people are smart. They move around. They come back and it continues on. That's why John decided to take things into his own hands. For a while now, he's been documenting all of the drug dealing and crime on his block, posting videos on social media under the handle Tenderloin Tube. He says his goal is to show people the reality of what's going on in the hopes that city officials and others will do something to stop it. I know it's complicated. I know um, you know, everybody has an opinion of what should be done. I, I don't think enabling people, you know, with doing drugs is helping. I think, you know, th there's so many factors. There's, there's getting the people who are using the drugs the help they need. There's getting the people who are selling the drugs. Like, you have to be out there. You have to address these issues. John says until these issues are solved, he will continue to post videos of what's going on in the Tenderloin online. He wants everyone, especially those who don't live in the neighborhood, to witness what's happening so they can't turn a blind eye. We are all just begging for someone to listen to us and to just be more consistent with and, and follow through. Crazy to see somebody just shooting into a street that I know is as busy as that one is. So one of the things that impresses me about people who we've talked to about this story, we covered community meetings in the Tenderloin mm -hmm. as recently as last week, is how savvy they are with talking to the city about this. I know he's reached out. What kind of a response has he gotten about any of this? Yeah, so John said that he's reached out to his local supervisor. He says that he hasn't gotten much of a response from them. He understands, of course, this is a very complicated issue, but he just wants some sort of action in his neighborhood just because this is such a constant. He says that he actually has neighbors who have come to him and asked him to help them install their own cameras mm. outside of their houses because they know this is going on. They want to see what's going on in front of their own home. Home. Really interesting and just unfortunate. Kelsey, thank you so much. We of appreciate course. it.